chances are you found me here because i shared this youtube video on our whatsapp platform you're at or on facebook or some other online platform well i know the internet can be very overwhelming when you're looking for information and i'm hoping that this specific channel is going to be one of your resources but apart from this channel i am going to share with you so many other platforms that i subscribe to digitally that have helped me in so many ways not just in fashion but also in business and also just in personal development as a creative so that's what we're going to cover today everything will be in slide form you can take screenshots you see i care about you welcome to this week's episode <laughs> So I have discovered that I have subscribed to or follow some diverse number of digital resources, websites, channels, YouTube channels. I didn't realize I follow so many um, newsletters, marketplaces, apps, so many. Some of them are local, some of them are international, some of the local ones are generally for business and they probably help a Kenyan entrepreneur. So I just thought I'd also share that because my primary audience is Kenyan anyway. But either way, they, they can be helpful because some of them have international um, resources as well for you to use. Either way, um, I'm hoping that the slides will help you. You can take screenshots. You can be able to check them out and see if they are going to help you as well. I'll just give very brief overviews. I'll really try to make this video short because they are very, very many. Um, so either way, enjoy and let's begin. So we'll start with YouTube and I think one of the primary channels I recommend, of course, is my channel, which is the first one I featured here. The rest of the channels that are featured here are a collective of different types of content. Some are sewing tutorials. Some are even sewing techniques that you might be confused about. So it's a very specific technique they show you. Some are fashion business information. Some are ways you can make money in fashion outside of designing and sewing. Some are costume making, like it's a very diverse range of um, content that, but it's, these are specifically fashion based. So, um, I always feature my work as well as highlight other people's work because if they're a good resource for me, I believe they're a good resource for you. So definitely check out these channels. I don't think you'll be disappointed. You'll learn a lot about the global fashion industry as a whole. So enjoy these channels. No Filter is a non-governmental organization that want to support people who want to give a different African narrative outside of the usual poverty, disease and conflict, poor leadership and corruption stories. So they have different projects that offer different um, services that help propel the African story. So they offer funding if you want to do research or you have a project that will help tell that story. And I have subscribed to their newsletter that I find very informative and also gives me opportunities to apply for different grants as well as know what other people are doing. Alibaba is a Chinese multinational technology company that specializes in e-commerce, retail, internet, and technology. Uh, my primary reason for going on the platform is usually to source from their vendors. And um, I usually actually have access to the wholesale Chinese market. And I'm sure there are very many other things I haven't discovered, but you're free to explore the site to see what else you can get. I highly recommend the official Alibaba website more than the AliExpress because I think Alibaba.com has uh, better regulation so that you do not get scammed. Anchor started off as a free care, but now it is actually an all-in-one solution where you can sell from anywhere, ship worldwide, and get paid faster both internationally and locally. Their main vendors are usually Africans or people of African origin, and I, they are an all-in-one marketplace where you can sell um, 
and I think they're just offering other services separately from their e-commerce platform, Africrea. So Africrea is their marketplace where um, basically African inspired things. So you might not even have to be African to sell there, but you have to sell African inspired things. And it's one of the biggest marketplaces in the world specifically for that. I subscribe to the Anchor newsletter just to keep up with what's going on in anchor the new developments and everything like that it's easier for me to also know the updates and also the africrea marketplace newsletter helps me know what is selling well and also it's just a good way to to monitor the things that really really do well in africrea yeah so definitely check it out telegram is a cloud-based mobile and desktop messaging app so there's a web and desktop version Zoom is a reliable video platform that empowers you to communicate um, and, and it became very popular, of course, during the pandemic. So um, I mostly use these two platforms for communication and mostly for online classes and things like that. Telegram mostly is usually for community groups because it doesn't really limit the numbers. So definitely check them out and they are definitely useful apps to have on your phone because they are very useful or you can just use the web version ebay amazon and etsy are three marketplaces that i shop often on amazon is the biggest of all of them it has the biggest market share it has different um, websites globally this is the main one and then there's also uk and others india and all of, all those um, then there is ebay that is more popular for used items or specialized items and then lastly there is etsy that is known for its handcrafted market um, I am usually on those three platforms, mainly to do sourcing. I have not sold on any of them yet. Business of Fashion is a fashion media company that basically tells you news, analysis, and advice um, from the global fashion industry. You will find jobs there. You will find um, career opportunities and even just general news about the industry. And they do have a YouTube channel where there are a lot of interviews from industry players of all types. So definitely check it out. Canva is a graphic design platform used to create social media graphics, presentation, posters, documents, and other visual content. I use this a lot, as you are probably familiar with it because it's in all my videos. So definitely I would recommend Canva. It's like the best. And it has so many things. You can even edit videos. You can even add music. It has really diversified from the time I started using it. So definitely check it out. Women's Wear Daily is a fashion industry trade journal often referred to as the Bible of fashion. It provides information and intelligence on changing trends and breaking news in men's and women's fashion, beauty and retail industry. I actually have subscribed to their newsletter and I generally find it very useful and you can actually pay for subscription for uh, their other content, but the newsletter is free. Facebook started in 2004 and I joined it around 2008 as a social media platform. At first, it was just for interacting and meeting my old classmates. Now, I have three uh, pages on it. I have groups that I am an admin to and basically I use it to post personal things and my business things as well. Instagram, I joined specifically for business and I am mostly there to try and post the things I post here on YouTube as well as uh, promote my business. And generally, it's been a very good platform where um, I spend most of my time there. I think I've learned a lot about editing videos because of being on Instagram. So Instagram has been a very, very good um, platform for me. TikTok, I'm still new at. Um, I personally, I don't think I like it much. I feel like it's more about entertainment, but I do have a TikTok account that I post occasionally on. So do check that out. And also just check out these platforms because you don't know which one will actually work best for your business. WhatsApp is a messaging app and I'm sure you're more familiar with the traditional WhatsApp app. But today specifically, I want to mention the WhatsApp for business. And if you're not on it and you own a business, definitely get on it. 
this app specifically was made with a business owner in mind and as you know whatsapp is also owned by facebook company so what i like about it is that there are very many things you can do on the business app from giving invoices to you can even put the link on your instagram page and it can redirect someone to your number on whatsapp business and you can chat with them um i don't have to explain everything it's in this video demo you're seeing here right now um but it is definitely an app worth having you can even see the logo is different from the traditional whatsapp app you can have both apps on your phone at the same time at least now they changed um, the settings to be able to allow you to have both apps in your phone so it's very good for you to be able to separate your traditional whatsapp app and your whatsapp for business app and you can actually even put catalog there you can put your prices there if you are offering services you can still do the same you can easily send the catalog to somebody who's asking you so that you don't have to you know how sometimes you're in business you have to download all these pictures to send to your client you don't have to do that anymore you just put everything up on your catalog and send it out to your client so it's very good you can invoice you can put notes on who to follow up on and things like that so it's very wholesome um i don't think in kenya you can um pay through the app yet but i think maybe in other countries you can i don't know if they have advanced to that level um but um definitely if you're in business it's a very very good app to have so definitely i'll recommend it and check it out fabric site is an e-commerce platform that sells very good quality fabric so i discovered this um, I think probably through the other platforms that I am on and they do offer samples and they, I'm actually subscribed to their newsletter and I always just look at um, the different kinds of fabrics they have until the day I can be able to afford them. So definitely check them out. Startup fashion is a place for emerging designers who want to um, basically start their brands and not do it in a traditional way basically the founder is very passionate about you not trying to fit into the old box that has excluded so many people in the fashion industry so definitely it's a good um, place to start and they have a newsletter um, where the founder is always sending encouraging uh, messages every week so do check it out Another platform is Factory 45. I also subscribe to their newsletter and it's also a very, very good platform to be on. Their main goal is to help you launch your sustainable ethical fashion brand and they do hook you up with people who sust sustainably uh, produce clothes and also people who do sustainable fabric so if you're into sustainability definitely factory 45 is the one for you and they have a marketplace called marketplace 45 where you can actually sell your sustainable goods pinterest is an image sharing and social media service designed to enable saving and discovery of information on the internet using images and other smaller scale gifs and videos so for me this is just a creator's dream i create a lot of my ideas on pinterest i get also very many new ideas on pinterest and also um sewing tips believe it or not are also there on pinterest so do check it out if you're not on pinterest and you're creative then you're missing out if you haven't had fashionomics and you're in fashion i'd really recommend that you join it it's a platform for the most exclusive high-end made in africa creations they do have a marketplace and they also have a, a newsletter and it's a place for designers customers mentors investors all around to be able to interact and they have a lot of in-person seminars as well so definitely check them out and they have a newsletter Hiva fund also has a newsletter that i've subscribed to and they mostly invest in creative businesses they also have a lot of trainings and they have different types of funding that they give so definitely also check them out and subscribe to their newsletter foundations revealed is an online membership community where you can learn all the skills you need to create eccentric wardrobe i discovered them through my journey into corsetry they have a lot of articles on their website they also do annual competitions so i subscribe to the newsletter of the founder as well as the foundations revealed um, platform itself where i just get updates on all those things the founder is called kathy hay
Lucy Corsetry is probably the most comprehensive resource for corsets, where you can shop for corsets, learn about corsets. It was started by Lucy, and she has so much content. She has a YouTube channel, she has a newsletter, she has a Patreon page where she talks one-on-one -on -one with people who support her, and her newsletter is always very insightful with updates on what she's selling, as well as just new information you can find on her website. Mpesa means money in Kenya, hence Mpesa means mobile money. Today, specifically, I want to talk about Mpesa for Business, which is a payment solution for all sizes of business. Basically, it's very easy to download the app, but you also have to register on the platform. You have to be a registered business, and then they give you a number that you can be able to give your customers to be able to pay. Mostly, you'll have to have the Mpesa app in Kenya to be able to use um, someone's still number to be able to pay them. But M-Pesa is very large. They have M-Pesa Global and they, you can also connect your M-Pesa to your bank. So the money you can end up depositing in your bank at the end of the day. You can pay for other services, um, transport services and things like that. You can pay your employees. You can pay for items through your M-Pesa business app. So it's very diverse. It's definitely an app you should download and explore. For Creative Girls is a semi-educational platform that provides all the resources and channels the female creative needs to thrive and grow in their creative businesses. Whether it's content, mentorship, classes, or inspiration, definitely subscribe to their newsletter so that you can get updates of the programs that they have and they do their newsletter monthly or bi-monthly. They are a social enterprise that engage women in the creative world and showcase them with a special focus on Africans and Africans in diaspora. International Trade Center is a multilateral agency which has a joint mandate with the World Trade Organization and the UN through the UN Conference and Trade Development. Um, I found out about them through the She Trades program that they run and I have also subscribed to their newsletter because they have a lot of trainings and they have a lot of opportunities to basically help your business become a global business. So definitely check them out and subscribe to their newsletter. LinkedIn is a business and employment oriented service that operates on websites and mobile apps and it's primarily used by professionals for networking and career development and allows job seekers and other professionals to basically post their CVs and you can also post articles and just share anything around your professional life. So it's very, very good. I would definitely encourage you to check it out. Shop Zetu is an award-winning African e-commerce marketplace dedicated to trendy and affordable fashions, accessory, and beauty brands. They are primarily stocking African brands with most of the brands coming from Kenya because the founder, who is also the founder of Vivo Activewear, is from Kenya and is based in Kenya. Definitely check it out, sign up for their newsletters. I personally like signing up for them just to see what they have in store, to see the diversity that's coming up, to learn about new brands. So definitely a place to check out and if you want to sell, it's a very good place to consider. Hey, so that's the end. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you'll find these resources very, very helpful. That They've made a world of difference for me as a creative and also for my business, so I hope it helps. Um, the point is not necessarily to make you so self-reliant that you don't need other people. I'm a very big advocate for if you can afford it, please do hire someone who can specialize in some of these things. But it's also important for you to just know how to do them, especially when using um, apps or websites like Canva or maybe you are good at using Photoshop illustrator i didn't i didn't even include those ones but um yeah it can be very tempting to just do everything by yourself i think it's just important to at least know the basics so that you're not completely left off the loop um either way this is the end of the fashion business series next week or basically next month i will be touching more on my life journey as a fashion student and as a fashion designer basically just telling you more about how I got started and how I am where I'm, I am today. So it's going to be basically like a story time, kind of. Um, so I'm also trying to see if I'm going to change the day I post the videos. I'm really testing different days out. So bear with me if you check on the day you're used to seeing this video and you don't find it. I will definitely post it during that week, but I might change the day. 
either way if you click on the notification bell you'll always be notified when i post please like share and subscribe and we finally reached and surpassed our 100 subscriber milestone i am so grateful for everybody welcome everyone who has joined us and looking forward to this creative journey with you now and in the near future and i guess i'll see you next week bye